Lobster Cavernous has its roots in North Carolina dating back to 1902. We just really take a lot of pride in being able to be a food distribution partner for the families in our region. My name is Jason Campworth. I'm Independent Director and Special Projects Director at Foster Cabins. We see many opportunities with farms within the region to aggregate products together. Uh, there's a lot of rural areas within the region and it makes it difficult for distributors like us to partner with those small farms if they're so spread out and they're not aggregating many, many products at their farms. Distributors like us uh, want to partner with those small farms, but if a farm only has a couple different products to offer, it doesn't necessarily make it as advantageous for distributors to want to support that. Farms in certain areas and different communities can uh, band together and offer co-ops to where they can aggregate products from the several farms in that community and make it more advantageous for distributors to get a product from it. So the infrastructure that is needed to really further develop um, the region's agriculture uh, are things like cold storage and shared transportation. Uh, one approach that we've taken is even if we're not buying or selling a farm's product, uh, we've offered a service and using our trucks that are already out crossing all the highways in North Carolina um, to go and pick up at these farms and offer backhaul services to other distributors that uh, would not necessarily run their trucks in that area. So a farm in North Carolina can reach out to us through our website. We have a link on there and they can say they want to become a farmer for Foster Cabinets. Uh, we get that information and then we reach out to the farm and we walk them through the steps and in many cases those farmers have not had any type of food safety audit before don't really understand the insurance regulations. We walk them through that and we connect them with resources to help them uh, attain those audit certifications and insurance requirements so they can do business with companies like us that sell produce to the schools and to the government, the hospitals, you know, that are subject to food safety regulations.